Share I'm saving this for a special occasion, buddy. And you ain't it. Doc, Pinhead, dismount! What's the matter, Sarge? Take a look over there. See a black object about 30 yards? I saw it move! Looks like a woman. I'm gonna have a look. Keep me covered. Okay, Mike. Shot in the shoulder. All right, break out a bedroll. Okay, Mike. Here, hand it, please. Take it easy. Was medical school, wasn't it, Doc? I told you. Never finished. Let's see how much you learned, huh? What do you think? She'll live all right, I guess. The main column ought to catch up with us in a few minutes. I think we'll just wait here. Ah, Sarge, how come we gotta wait here? Freezing our cans off. Man, I got a flash for you. This is the army. Hurry up and wait, or ain't you hurt? I got a flash for both of you guys. Now, either one of you pops off just one more time, and I'll volunteer you for every detail for a week. Any questions? Shot you. Deutsch. Sarge, the old man's jeep's coming over that hill yonder. Doc, break out that aid pack. Hiya. Captain? Made it through without any sweat, huh? Yes, sir, but we just found us a girl over here been shot in the shoulder. A girl? Yes, sir, we got in the back of the track. Did she say anything? Well, she came too long enough to tell us a German shot her. Give me a look. Hey, pretty. Howdy, man. Good, Good morning, sir. Intelligence reports the scouts have passed through Barenthal. It's clear. Better get up there and grab yourself four or five dry billets. All right, sir. I've got to get back to head the column. 
What's Captain Macklin, sir? What, what do we do about the girl? Hold on to her. S2 will want to talk with her. I'll send the medics up to you as soon as I can. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Don't try to requisition the village inn. Colonel Devlin's going to want that for his headquarters. All right. Sir. I'll see you. Take off. About the people in it. Well, I was nice and polite. I just told them they were going to take in some boarders. I told them they could sleep with their relatives. What did you find? I oh, one in pretty good shape. Nothing would be all right with them fixing up. You take the best one, put a sign on it that says Head, Headquarters Sea Troop, huh? Hey, Sarge, I've been thinking, why don't we take the good one and give the old man this? And just how long do you think we'd keep it, bright boy? Arab, we're gonna move in this place. Looks pretty dry to me, and they got a bedroom upstairs. With a real bed in it? Yeah. Oh, man, that's for me. A bed. I already put the girl in that room. And it's off limits to everybody. And that means everybody. Well, how is she? She's fine, Ski. Just fine. As you were. We'll sort these out and put them in the proper files. Yes, sir. Colonel Devlin, sir. Looks like you had a cold trip, Dev. Mm. Staff ready? Yes, sir. Good. As Colonel Wilson's already told you, our assignment is to occupy this area from Barenthal up to Mutter House and down the road to Phillipsburg. Our core intelligence tells me that there's only a handful of Germans in our entire sector, and they could be right. But in my opinion, this area is the logical gateway to all the southern invasion ports. And with less than 3,000 men and limited equipment, we're prime candidates for another German thrust. Therefore, until I am fully convinced of the contrary, as of now, all units are on the alert and combat ready. Captain Swain. Yes, sir. Search out and interrogate any possible German sympathizers you find in the village. I want you engineers to establish roadblocks and prepare every road and bridge for demolition in the event of attack. Also, want all units to send out patrols. If you officers have any questions, let's have them now. Question, sir. What is it? Sir, I have a bunch of mighty tired and worn out men. What's the chances of rotating them one day on and one day off? Until I'm sure what we're up against, there will be no exceptions. Answer your question? That answers my question, sir, but it certainly won't do my men's morale any good. Uh, sure, it won't help the morale to have the Germans come swarming out of the hills and kill every one of them, now, will it? <laughs> <laughs> All of you know the score. If there are no further questions, we'll call it a day. I might add, this is one time I'd like to be proven wrong in my analysis. That's all. Dev, hmm? I've been with you a long time, and I know you always have a good reason for everything you do, but remember, our men have had 60 out of 64 days in combat. So? So I think you ought to ease up. Otherwise, you're a candidate for number one heel in the Seventh Army. I'm not up here to win a popularity contest. I don't care if I become the grade A candidate of the century. Until I'm convinced Corps II is right, I'm not going to have Germans busting through my lines. Abe, I tried to get these men into a quiet sector. But with the situation the way it is in the Ardens, I didn't stand a chance. And Corps II is convinced that this is a quiet sector. They think we can rest, regroup, and repair right here. But I told you how I think. And that's the way it's going to be.
Sergeant Gillespie, I brought a few things for you. Come in, please. Just brewed up a fresh pot of coffee. I thought maybe you might like some. Thank you. Careful, it's hot. Ain't too good, but it'll sure put hair on you. We got some shoes here for you. Just cross around the village. This stuff is probably ain't the right sizes, but at least it'll keep you from freezing to death. Thank you, sir. You smoke? Yes. Let me take that. I'll leave you some of these for later. Huh? Some matches here somewhere. There you go. You know, I really don't know how to thank you. <laughs> Believe me, that's nothing. Believe me. You saved my life. Now you brought me all these things. Look, we just happened to be there. Anybody would have done the same thing. I got you some socks, sweater. You know, I, I, I've seen a lot of soldiers during the war. You're different. You know, you talk awful good English. In English, I got the best marks in my class. I wasn't exactly my best subject. <laughs> Geography, too. I studied all about the United States. That was my worst subject. <laughs> it hurt you very much? It burns. Yeah, it'll, it, it'll burn for a while, but it'll quit. I know I got shot in the leg a couple of months ago. Oh, was it serious? No, we was on the patrol in the Maritime Alps. That's where I got it. I checked in with the medics, and they slapped a Band-Aid on me and sent me right back to duty, so it couldn't have been too bad. Oh, thank you. By the way, S2 wants some information on you, but let him keep to Lamar. What is S2? That's the Army's name for intelligence officer. <laughs> well, you could probably do with some rest, huh? Yeah. Look, if there's anything you want, you just give a holler. Mm-hmm. Like I said, you get some sleep. She's supposed to be sick. What do you think you're trying to do to yourself? 
You ought to be in bed. You know what the medics say. It's so cold in there. I couldn't rest. How would you... You want to go down to the farm and that'd be better, huh? Why don't you break open a case of sea rashes and we'll have some chow, huh? I'm just trying to help the little lady keep... Hear me, Ski. Tell me something, Sarge. Am I on your special list? Look, Ski, you don't want to find yourself outside on that track all in the... All right, say no more. Say no more. I'm with it. All right, you guys. How about a little patty de foie gras? We also have squab under glass. I'll have me one of them filthy mignons. Oh, Jew. Oh, you guys don't want none of that garbage? I got something here you ain't never had before. It's called ration du seed. The Army special tinfoil of tidbits guaranteed to put muscle on your body, whiten your teeth, put spring in your legs, and lead in your kidney. Baby doll, old Ski's gonna take care of you personally. About enough, huh, Ski? Now, how about some chow? I got beef stew, I got corned beef hash, I got meatballs, I got spaghetti, I got biscuits. Well, you call them biscuits? I got sugar, I got coffee, I got candy, and I got cigarettes. And I got the warmest heart in the division, baby, and they're all for you. Okay, goofball, now you're my boy. You drive that track up to the rear of the house. Then you hike your tail up topside and you start oiling them gun barrels. Oh, sorry, it's cold out there. Move, ski! While you're at it, check the headspace on number two. So it's two clicks off, so You what? heard me now. I don't have to tell you that again. Is this the first squad, second platoon, Charlie Troop? Yeah, who are you? Decontamination unit. We're spraying the whole 94th. Everybody, all gear in every house, so... Inside, soldier. With pleasure. Who's in charge here? I am. What are you? A decontamination unit. Corporal Hoyne. Hey, uh, Corporal, take me first, will you? I'm crawling. I don't know whether I got a million of those little creeps or one on a motorcycle. Yeah, me too. Hey, you know, I don't mind six-legged dandruff, but it seems in all these uh, armored outfits, they get mechanized, too. All right, knock it off. What do you want us to do first, Corporal? Strip. Down to one pair of long johns. Then get out all your extra clothing and gear and pile them up. We spray the personnel first. You too, lady. Wait a minute, Corporal. She ain't none of your business. Oh, she is my business. Orders say all civilians, as well as soldiers, will be sprayed and... She's a civilian. Can I help you, Corporal? Shut up, Ski. Say, Corporal, old partner, why don't you come back after a while so we can get us a bigger bar going? I swear I'm going to freeze my... Let me tell you something, Corporal. This girl was wounded this morning. Well, now, I... Now, you ain't going to spray her. It might cause complications. Besides, she's already under a medic's care. Now, see here, Sergeant. You ain't going to spray her, Corporal. I think you... You better go upstairs, huh? Thank you, though. 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 Th
Good night. Good night. All right, next. Come on, come on. You two. Hey, hush. What? Did you hear that? I just heard one of them social insects yell, Man the lifeboat! Funny. All right, next. Come on, come on. All right, next now. Where to this morning, sir? Straight ahead. I'll tell you to turn. Where's your CEO? He's out there, sir. Shall I get him for you? Soldier, don't you know your general orders? You're on guard here. I'll find him myself. Yes, sir. Morning, Colonel. You heard my talk last night? Yes, sir, I did, and I was sure impressed by it. The looks of things around here, you weren't. Don't read you, sir. You don't read me, hmm? And evidently, you don't read your manuals either. Now, why have you got this equipment all tied up in this village? Well, sir, I've got men here who haven't had a hot meal in two days. I'm aware of that. But the enemy's right over the back of those hills. Now, get these vehicles out in the open where they can maneuver. Space them a hundred yards apart and keep the crews with them so we can use them if we have to. Sir, do I understand you want me to move up into those hills? You sure do. That'll mean my men will have to walk at least a mile for hot chow. That's right. And when they do, make sure they're alternated. I want this outfit combat ready. I also want the Van Stein area patrol tonight. Yes, sir. I assume the colonel knows it's 10 degrees below zero I here. don't care if it's 30 degrees below. It doesn't change the situation one iota. We've got a job to do here, and we're going to do it. Better have something for this one, sir. You haven't eaten all day. Take me down to Colonel Martin, 500 field artillery. Yes, sir. what I found wrong today. I want you personally to straighten it out by tomorrow. Oh, Dev, don't you think you're carrying this thing too far? I went over this whole area today, and nobody's going to sell me on the idea that the Germans are going to leave a 10-mile sector with only one man to protect every 150 feet of it. For my dough, this is a natural route for a German diversionary All attack. All right, you may be right, but you're fighting City Hall. Corps Intelligence is a lot better equipped to get information than we are. I don't give a hoot what they're equipped to do. We're up here facing the Siegfried Line. They're down there. All right, it's your baby. And you do it. There's your clear. Captain? Yeah, it looks like you men are enjoying yourselves. Captain, this is really little. No, thanks. I haven't got time. We've got a job to do. It'll probably take you all night, so you and the men get down to my command post right away. I'll give you the complete layout. You'll move out at 1800. CO wants the Bernstein area patrolled. All right, sir. That's it. Man, that really fouls up my plans for tonight. Your plan? <laughs> what do they want us to do? Reconnoiter this whole war for him? Yeah, and fight it, too. All right, quit griping. Let's get ready, huh? I said get ready. Come in. We got a patrol, so be sure to lock up tonight. There won't be nobody here then. You leaving now? Mm-hmm. We'll be back by morning. Get some cigarettes. Mike? Yeah? Please be careful. I will.
bakery is closed. That's too bad. Bad? <laughs> I'm the baker. I open one hour a day in the morning. Most of the time, there is nothing to sell. But there is always gossip. Gossip says the weather will grow warm. The eagles will fly. The eagles will fly from east to west. I'm Jean Robert. I'm Alexandra. Your cousin Pierre spoke of you many times. We were in the same labor camp together. <laughs> I'll show you where I live. You can report back to me tonight. This is the house at Dempsey. The Americans are probing the critical area. B2 left at Bernstein. They must find nothing. Get this out immediately. Critical area B2, left of Bernstein. Must find nothing. The message will be sent immediately. Au revoir. No. No, it is too dangerous. Darcy, if you refuse to send a message, you know the consequences. I am a very old man. I am not afraid to die. <laughs> but your family, your grandchildren, they are not old, and they live in German territory. So this is the generosity for all I have done for you in the past. <laughs> you will see I can be generous in the future, too. Send it. Herr Hauptmann, there will be an American patrol out tonight near Bernstein. They must not be fired upon unless they discover our possessions. Jawohl, Herr General. Say he's unwilling to cooperate anymore after this. How about Air Waltz? Will he? I think so. I am very concerned about Darcy. Nobody knows who you are, but they all know me. If he should talk. Then we must I... see that he doesn't talk. What about the others? Are they reliable? Look, there's a lot of important information that I can't get personally. The exact placement of the outlying American units, the strong points. Information is costly. We will be paid as usual. These times are troubled and uncertain. How soon? Monsieur, you've already received considerable gold for your services. We are most prompt to take care of those who serve us well. Those who do not, we also take care of promptly. But this information, it is, it is difficult. I, I can only try my best. You must get it. I need not remind you. It must be accurate, and I want it tomorrow.
くない。Patrol combed every inch of that area last night. Couldn't find a thing. How many men did you send out? One squad, sir. One squad? They couldn't comb an area that size in two days. Well, Colonel, I... Bart, I want you to send as many men as you can out of the 94th. I want a daylight patrol, a big one. I'd better take this one out myself. Normally, I'd say no. But I consider this extremely important. Come out here. I don't need to tell you that within 18 miles of where we're standing is the Siegfried Line. Also, up until two weeks ago, the headquarters of the German 19th Army Group was here in the town of San Luis de Bosque, under the command of General von Beckendorf. And this is a mighty shrewd man. I've tangled with him three times before, and in my opinion, he is still there in full force. Well, in that case, sir, don't you think we ought to request some aerial reconnaissance? That stuff? Even if they get off the ground, Von Beckendorf wouldn't fire at them, reveal his positions. When do you want me to leave? Drop us two and get everything you can get in that sector. Maps, charts, photos, study them. You know what I'm looking for, find it. Right, sir. Colonel, you know, daylight patrol, we're setting ducks. That's the idea, draw their fire, find out where they are. I'll get up to Swain right away. Good luck, Bart. They want me to interrogate the local citizens with no interpreter. Look, I understand German, but this dialect is impossible. I catch about every third word. Yeah, I might be able to do something for you. Sergeant Gillespie's squad picked up a wounded Alsatian girl. She's got the proper ID papers, speaks French, German, English, even American. <laughs> we were going to send her over for interrogation as soon as she was well enough. Maybe she can help you. Sure, send her over. Anything to help. I'll do it. Thanks a lot, Bart. I sure appreciate it. Okay. Hey, today we really eat. Somebody get that fire going. Pinhead, pinhead, pinhead. That one's yours. Hey, give me that, you jerk, before you drop them all on the floor. I got ham. I got bacon. Where'd you find all that stuff? Oh, now, Sarge, have I ever let you down? Huh? Now, why don't we get the gal down here and have her cook it? You know, live it up in style. Yeah, she's well enough to cook now, ain't she, Doc? I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay, Mike. Golden Junior. I'll get it. Come in. Good morning. Good morning. The uh, boys scrounged up some food from the village. And... Well, we were wondering maybe. If... Can you cook? Yeah, they want me to cook it for them. Well, it's been a long time since they've had a meal cooked by a woman, and we... Would you? I'd be glad to. I'll do my best. Fine. Here's your French chef, boys. You seem to be looking better. Thank you. The medic said she was real lucky. Say, can we better cook up some chow here if you'd like to? Uh... Uh, thanks, but chow's gonna have to wait. Oh, no, Captain. Yes, sir? We're going right back to the same place you were last night. <laughs> but we didn't find a thing out there, Captain. I know, but this time the old man's certain we will. Did you say we, sir? Yes, I'm going. Very well, sir. All right, get your gear together. We got a job to do. Get your gear together. 
Miss, I understand you speak English, French, and German? That's right. Captain Swain, our intelligence officer, wants to see you right away. All right, you men, report to me as soon as you're ready. Yes, sir. You should have saved some of that chow for us. Je vous le répète, il n'y aura pas de pain aujourd'hui. The Americans are giving us flour later today. There will be bread tomorrow, honey, honey. Do you have any bread today? No, only for those who ordered yesterday. Could you deliver? Something important? Very important. The Americans have sent a big daylight patrol to probe the entire critical area. You must get this information out at once. Have your drivers stay with their vehicles. We're going to cover this entire area on foot in teams of two. The old man says he wants to find out what's in there at all costs. At all costs? That means you, 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 and me. Generous, ain't they? Soldier, did I ask you for any comments? No, sir. All right, deploy your men. Mike, you come with me. Yes, sir. Next, you stay in the vehicle. Then that you and Doc, Arab, you and Skeet. I think I sprained my ankle. Do you think? I twisted an ankle from all of the Come on. Take it easy. They're pinned down. Now tell them to stand to cover and don't try to pull back till it's safe. And get me the core two on the phone. Yes, sir. Quiet sector, huh? Hello, Devlin. This is Ritter. Yes? Well, that's perfectly understandable. You sent patrols out in daylight? Even with the small force the Germans have, they're bound to attack. I still don't believe there's a big force up there. If there is, I don't know where they'd get them. They have 28 full divisions fighting up in the Ardennes. They have nothing left to draw on except old men, the Hitler Jugend. Well, thanks, Colonel. Sorry I bothered you. Abe, sometimes I wonder if it's worth it. <clears throat> now. Ask her, is it true that there are large supplies of gasoline and ammunition stored on her farm for the Germans? Der Hauptmann möchte wissen, ob auf ihrem Bauernhof Munition und Benzin von den Deutschen eingelagert wurden. Nein, nein, nein. Auf unserem Hof ist nichts, nichts. Nicht einmal was zu essen, gar nichts. I'll tell her, if she's lying, she'll be severely punished. Die Amerikaner sind ihre Freunde. Aber wenn sie merken, dass sie lügen... Lügen? Ich lüge nie. Warum will er mir nicht glauben? She persists she has no knowledge of these things. Okay. Thank you for coming. Tell her she can go. Zikerenike.
I left six men out there, Colonel. Yeah, I know. I hope this convinces them. There is something in those woods. No, they didn't buy it. If we're going to convince them, I guess we'll have to get some prisoners. Not another daylight patrol. No, night. Come on, night. And every night until we do. Yes, sir. Can I get his bedroom down here? Too bad. I better get you over to the medics. Well, why don't you have Doc take a look at it? He's as good as any of those pill rollers. You sure that's the way you want it? Yeah. I don't want to miss out on any of that shell I collected this morning. Yeah, man, I could show you some of that hotel right now. Hey, what says we uh, pick up where we left off this morning? Doc, see how bad he's hurt, huh? I'm gonna go up and see about the girl. Right. Little help, Indian. Sergeant Gillespie. Come in. Ow! Hi. Hi. Uh, we're about to heat up that child that Ski brought in this morning. We thought maybe you might like to come down and join us. Could you please get me my shoes? Sure. I bent down this morning. I nearly fainted. I'm sorry. I kind of feel like a shoe sales. <laughs> Where to go, huh? sleepy time gal wishing you a very merry merry Christmas and now to you fine soldiers of CCR under the command of Colonel Mark Devlin who have just moved into the area of the Vosges mountains we hope you are comfortable down there at the village inn Colonel Devlin Devil Devlin that's what your men call you isn't it I wish to dedicate my next number to your 19th Armored Infantry Battalion up at Motorhouse. After that, I'll also dedicate a number to the 2nd Armored Infantry Battalion who are occupying the area along the highway to Egeshardt, Philipsberg, and Bernstein. And by the way, Colonel, 
I hope you enjoy your hot turkey Christmas dinner. I'm sure the boys up there in the foxholes will think of you as they eat their cold sea rations. A merry, merry Christmas, Combat Command R and Colonel Devlin. All right, shut that thing off. Come on, let's get back to work. Yeah. I'm coming. Boy, the things they won't do in this here army to keep my hand from getting any sleep. Hold it, General. I'm coming. Well, who do you think you are now coming here in the middle of the night? Sorry, sir, I didn't recognize you. As you were. All right, grab your socks. All right. Have a set. The old man figures this would be a good night to raid the German positions and get some prisoners. But, sir, we've been out every night. I swear, Captain, if you send us out on a night like this, I'm going to freeze my tex or can off. You'll freeze it off. Ain't there no other bird dog? Quit griping. They're going to do no good. Captain. Captain, you know what tonight is? Yes, I know. But the troops up there aren't observing the holiday, and furthermore, the Germans are expecting us to relax tonight. You've got ten minutes. Yes, sir. Now, I realize this isn't the right time. I don't know that there ever will be a right time. But I wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas, if there is such a thing. Same to you, Captain. The old man was right. If we're ever gonna pull this thing off, tonight's the night to do it. You ought to soak that in some hot water while we're gone. I wish I had a twisted ankle. Ah, we don't need him anyhow. I can do his job. Six more like it. What do you mean, do my job? Listen, were you gimping around out there bumping into things, you'd get us all killed. All right, let's go, huh? I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to talk.
Yes, sir. I sure do pity that bunch out there. Especially those guys up around Barnstown and Mother House. Man, they got rough. Over 1,100 men up there in that ice. A lot of them old buddies of mine from the 2nd Battalion. Great guys. Of course, cavalry reconnaissance is a pretty good racket. You get out and around a lot. A lot of places a lot of guys never get to see. And you sort of stumble across things. If you know what I mean. Yes, sir. I was thinking, how about my getting you a pair of those fur lined boots, huh? How about that? Now, come on, honey. Cheer up. You know I like you. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for you. Then you better leave before the others get back. No hurry. They won't be back for three or four more hours. See, they gotta get a prisoner, and they ain't gonna get no prisoner tonight. So what say you and I have a little bit of drink? Fortune. Captain Macklin on the line, sir. Yeah, Bart. Good work, Bart. I want those birds under special guard and brought right over. What's the name of that officer in charge of interrogation over 2nd Battalion? Ringelman. Get him and his team up here on the double. Abe, we've got some prisoners. Lieutenant, do you realize the seriousness of this information? Seven enemy divisions? Did you try to confirm it? You can check the report on the German sergeant and notice the information's identical, sir. All right, remove the prisoner. And Lieutenant, see that he gets a good meal. Done a good job tonight. Thank you, sir. Get me Corps 2. I want to speak to Colonel Ritter personally. Yes, sir. Colonel, sir, they say that Colonel Rutter's asleep. They want to know if it's important. It is. Wake him up. Yes, sir. Ritter. Yeah, Devlin. Oh, that's impossible, Devlin. We have each of those outfits pinpointed as fighting in the Ardennes. Furthermore, we've already got 2,000 prisoners from those divisions, and they were only taken just this morning. No, for my dough, it's just another one of Van Beckendorf's usual tricks. Well, I'm sorry I bothered you, Colonel. Good night. So he won't buy it, huh? Uh, he still insists there's only 350 of the enemy in front of us. We've got to make somebody listen. All right, but who? You know, Abe, in less than five minutes, you and I are going to be two of the most unpopular men in this army. Oh, four, four, five. How well do you know General Gurney on the right flank? 
Well, not well enough to wake him up this time in the morning. You get on that phone and talk to him personally. Try to shock him. Give him the facts, the names that the German division we're up against. Operator, put Colonel Wilson through the General Gunny on the right flank, and then get me General Ferguson on the left flank. Make sure it's them personally. Yes, General Dev. It's lucky that bullets won't travel through a telephone wire. Yeah. Hey, Tuck! As you were. Sir, what do you think? It's hard for me to buy. Because core intelligence reports indicate that we have over 2,000 prisoners from those same divisions, including field grade officers. This could be a German trick, and a clever one, too. Sir? Now, look at it from Corps' point of view. Suppose we buy this story. That would mean we'd have to rush at least two divisions up here, right? Therefore, we'd have to take them out of the firefight up in the Ardennes. That's the only place we could get them from. It could weaken us disastrously there. But, General, sir... Dad, it's a pretty tough situation. But my advice to you is stay off Corps' back. In other words... I'm up here on my own. I'm afraid so, Dad. 0915. I've got to get out. I must get back to my command. Yes, sir. Do your best to keep out of trouble. Good luck. In this command, we've got 186 half tracks. And every one of them have a 50 and a 30 caliber machine gun. Well, I intend to dig in every one of them as pillboxes. Oh, but Dave, you... Dave, you know, and I know, and everybody else knows, that those half-tracks are for the sole purpose of troop transportation. Now, if you dig them in as pillboxes, and this thing explodes, there is no way to get the troops out. On that score, you're absolutely right. But if we're attacked, we won't be going out. We'll stay and fight. If you dig them in as pillboxes and Corps finds out about it, they'll nail you to the general's door. <laughs> That's hide, hair, and all. Well, you're breaking every rule in the book, Dev. At a time like this, to hell with the book. Now, issue the order. Have them dug in. And tell S3 to give me an overlay as soon as they're in position. Now, start here at Hill 32 and extend the line over to the Van Stein Road. Now, place them every hundred yards. I want them dug in and camouflaged. Any questions? Okay. Well. Mm, mm, mm. Ski, what you done fixed up there, boy? Come and get it. Mmm, smells like home. It's real. Well, I'll be. Ski old hurt foot, you went and done it again. <laughs> it's real. It's real. Say, you guys stick with me and you'll live like kings. Didn't I tell you I'd take care of you? Yeah, exactly. You're yeah, yeah, you, 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 you really <laughs> taking care of too. Hey, Come on, some gin. Take that some gin. All right, boy. <laughs> I scratched it. Now you keep your mouth shut. You know, it's a funny thing. Angel did the same thing to me the very first night I ever took her out. You know, Ski, that reminds me of little old Billy down in war.
Hey, Ski. Ain't that the bottle you, you said you were saving for a special occasion? Did you go up there on your own, or did she invite you up? Well, what do you think? I'm asking you. She was lonesome. She wanted to see what a real man was like. You in charge here? Yes. Who's your commanding officer? Captain Macklin, sir. Consider yourself under arrest. to understand that you then recommended her for work in our S2? You want to see me, sir? You bet I do. Sit down. How long have you been an intelligence officer, Captain? Two years, sir. And before that? Well, I was a lieutenant of detectives in Detroit. Hmm. And you were supposed to be two of my brightest officers. You, Bart. You pick up a strange woman when you come into town, and you plant her with our reconnaissance outfit. And who knows our position better? And then you put her to work in our S2. And you wonder how the enemy gets information about us. But, sir, she'd been wounded. You just don't question the authenticity of a bullet wound. Evidently, she wasn't wounded very bad. Did you have one of our doctors check her? My medic didn't think it was serious enough. Sir, she was responsible for our capture of that enemy agent. She's a citizen of San Luis de Bar. Why, she's got French identification papers. Identification papers? They turn out better IDs than we do. Money, passports, anything they want. Did you check in San Luis de Bosque whether she was a citizen of that town? No, sir, that's still held by the Germans. Oh. OK, sir, I'll see she's taken care of right away. I'll, I'll get on Core G2 immediately. You will not. Nobody's going to Core 2 about anything. Now, here's what you're going to do. As you were. All right, men, we got a patrol. Not Bernstein again, sir. No, you're to scout the way for the 2nd Battalion that's moving into the Phillipsburg area. The old man's got a bug that the enemy's planning to hit that sector. But the 2nd Bat's dug in at Bernstein. That's right, Arab. But with the few troops we have, the Colonel wants to use them where they'll do the most good. Then what about Bernstein? That's the old man's headache. He has reason to believe they'll hit Phillipsburg first. I think she swallowed it hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> Swell. Sergeant O'Connor is covering her actions. Good.
information of the greatest importance. The American commander is convinced that the first objective will be Phillipsburg. But his forces are limited. To strengthen Phillipsburg, he's weakened another sector. Now listen carefully. There can be no mistake. Banstein. The Banstein sector must be the initial objective. Banstein. The initial objective. It is weakened. Soldier. When I came in, he passed in the other direction. He's following you. Then he must be followed. Remember his face. Point him out to Air Walsh and the others. Oh, no, I cannot be involved. If this is You'll do exactly as I say. Now repeat the message. Yes, yes. Bernstein. It has been weakened. The first objective. No, monsieur. You mistook my meaning. The Bernstein sector is most probably being heavily reinforced. Our best chance for a quick success would be through the weak point, Phillipsburg. Phillipsburg? Yes, yes, Phillipsburg. Send it at once. On behalf of the town, his honor, the mayor, and the town officials wish you to have this slight gift so that you may properly enjoy your holidays. Mm. Thank you. Uh, please tell him that I was most kind. Thank you. Well, this sure should sweeten up that stuff that they call coffee around here. <clears throat> you know, Abe, Bart Macklin's had some real rough assignments lately. I think I'll call him and have him drop by and pick up a couple of bottles. Get me Captain Macklin on the phone. Yes, sir. Captain Macklin on the line, sir. Oh, Bart. I uh, got a little present from the mayor and some of the townspeople today. Some real fine cognac. Thought you might like to drop by and pick up a couple bottles. They did? I gave him a case, too. Yeah? Happy what? Gave us New Year's Eve. <laughs> yeah? Happy New Year to you, Bart. Yes, sir. There's a man out there with his arms full of bottles. Bring him in here. Yes, sir. It's New Year's Eve, Dad. Yes, sir. Where did you get that cognac? Well, you know, all those townspeople up there we gave the flower to. Or are giving everybody cognac all you want. All right, Sergeant, that's all. Thank you, sir. Operator, tie in all command posts. Yes, sir. Abe, get on that phone. Let's find out how many of these men have been given cognac and how many bottles. Holy... This adds up to an awful lot of cognac. This is a small town. Where would they get it? Why would they give all that fine cognac away when they know our men would pay plenty for it? Boy, what a beautiful setup. Beautiful timing. New Year's Eve, that German advance would come smashing through here and our troops would be half crocked. Abe, this could be it. Get on a conference call to all units. I want every bottle of that cognac confiscated. Conference call, all units. Yes, sir. Philip Sprague, on the double. Yes, sir. Sir, 
Sir, Colonel Devlin's here. Colonel, Abe calls. He seems to think we got some cognac up here. Boy, we sure could use some. We're not in for that kind of a party, Bill. I expect the Germans hit the bandstand area in force tonight. Now, you may get some diversionary action up here, but I don't think it's anything you can't handle. Listen, post report's all clear, sir. All right. Well, I'm going over to Viper 6. If things start popping, let me know right away. Yes, sir. Turn to your units. Mount up. Start your motors. What you set up here, Tom? Sir, I have all the tracks dug in in depth. It should be able to delay any infantry attack from either in the woods on your left or the cover over to your right. Mm. All I got in reserve is Macklin's troop. How about artillery? Yes, sir. We have prepared concentrations for all possible avenues of approach. Should be able to delay any possible tank attack. Mines? Yes, sir. We have a minefield dug in directly to your front, sir. Now, this being a special occasion, Old Ski thought he ought to scrounge up something special for it. Hey, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I know Ski ever let you down. I thought maybe we ought to have one for each. Hey, you can't do Aren't you going to have a drink? No, thanks. Tell me one thing. Just tell me. Did you invite him up there? Invite him? That... That's all I want to know. Where are you going? I'm going to beat his brains out. Then I'm going to see oh, the old man. You can't do that. He's a big old lion. I swear that they've all been up there. They've all come and arrest me. But take me away.
Captain Easley? This is Viper 6. This is Vixen 6. We're being hit. David's Easley, he's in a jam. Hmm? Yeah, Bill. Sir, they're hitting with everything they've got. This is no diversion. They're hitting Phillipsburg right now. The line's out. They're running all over, Easley. Give me Volcano 5. Shoot, Dan. Hey, put me through the core right away. Try Colonel Devlin in the core right away. Colonel Latin. Yeah. Ready? Those 350 Germans of yours just blitzed Phillipsburg. Blitz Phillipsburg? What with? With tanks. What do you think, pea shooters? Dev, there's a massive attack hitting my outpost right now. The attack on Phillipsburg was diversionary. The main force is here. I'll CG3 right away. We have some forces we can shift. They're hitting us here now, Dev. Well, clear that CP and man defense positions outside. Use everything you've got. Now, burn all papers and prepare to withdraw. I'll be right there. Tom? You've got to hold him. Every minute counts until Cork can get some heavy stuff up here. Mac. Well, hold him off as long as you can, but if you have to, send him in. We're all expendable. Good luck, Tom. Volo 6. Volo 6, this is Viper 6. Bart, this is it. I gotta withdraw. Move in on my left flank and protect me as best you can. We're ready to roll. Roger and out. Tell all platoons, crank them up now.
Kamerad! Kamerad! O'Connor. Then I'd get them boards off of it. Too careful, it's probably got broken bones. <laughs> That's all right, boy. Take it easy. We're gonna be all right. Girl. Take it easy, boy. reporting. Sorry it took so long, Dad. Dave, I've never been so glad to see a man in all my life. Get him on the run. We're on the way. He was a good soldier.
Did he make it? I don't know what the old man's going to do to you, Dad. You broke every rule in the book. But it sure worked. Let's go, Red. 